Garbador, because trash YouTubers are really popular these days. Yeah, you know, like, all those trash, trash YouTubers, like, like, P P Pokeball or Luke, he doesn't even upload anymore. He's, he's trash and kind of popular. F that guy. Welcome to Poke Quiz, the series where I ask you a Pokemon related question and feature my favorite answers in the next episode. Last episode, I asked you guys what Pokemon would make the best YouTubers, and here are your best replies. Wait, 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 before we go, at the end of this episode I'm gonna have a really like short update. If you care about me, my videos, and my channel, I recommend you watch it. If you're just the occasional viewer, then you probably don't care and just carry on with your life. Uh, but yeah, here are, here are the, the answers that are Still trash, but the best ones I could find. Killer Kingler, let's get right into the news! I mean, I mean, Kingler kind of looks like Keemstar. All you need to do is, like, put the G Fuel hat and, like, a gnome beard, and yeah, yeah that's Keemstar for sure. Slowpoke, because he would act like the brain-dead children that open up toys to make money to buy toys to open. You know what, call it brain dead you want, but like, we've been over this before. 18 million views. Jesus Christ. In the Pokemon other than Squirrel, because they can make original content. Um, <clears throat> you, you said Squirrel, and I think you meant to say Squirtle, but you fucking failed. Gardevoir, you only need big teeth to get views anyway. I want to ask you, where do you see that? Nowhere. It's not. No, you're lying. A dark type Pokemon would be the best YouTuber because it would cause drama. Hey, what's up, guys? Absol here, and welcome back to yet another video. Today, I'm gonna be making fun of another autistic kid, and then make another video on Jacob Satorius. But without further ado, pa 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 pa. Play that shit, Edmonton, because he will do the best bro feast. Nah, man. Mewtwo Pie has that covered. Um, this, these comments, they have absolutely nothing to do with the answer, but I thought they were kind of funny. Go ahead, read them, have a, have a good little laugh, and uh, we, can, we can all carry on with our day. Alakazam, because it, it could do 1,000 burning 1,000 glowing degree spoon videos. Bulbasaur, he knows how to deal with scrubs like Squirtle. So basically, like, I, Squirtle, I'd be like Leafy, Leafy is Squirtle, and uh, Bulbasaur, that'd be like I-dubs, you know, because he I-dubs destroyed Squirtle. I mean, wait, hold on, I f***ed up. Squirtle, because it's the mascot of the best YouTuber. Oh my god, yeah, dude, that one YouTuber with Squirtle as his mascot, dude, he's actually like the best YouTuber. Yeah, I know you know who I'm talking about. We're talking about the Beast Pokeballer, the best Pokemon YouTube channel on YouTube. Nebby, <laughs> it has its subscribers in the bag. <laughs> wow, I'm not funny. You got that right. Combi movie, but every time Combi says Combi, it gets ten times faster. And finally, Squirtle, because insert unfunny Pokeball or Luke joke here. Oh, uh, you want me to insert an unfunny Pokeball or Luke joke? Why don't you just check out the whole playlist for Poke Quiz? <laughs> That's bad. And that's all the answers I got for you guys this time, but I have another question for you. Well, actually, guys, this weekend I'm going to PAX East, and I have some roommates that I met on YouTube that I'm going to be staying with, and it kind of got me thinking, what Pokemon would you want to be your roommate? Leave your creative answers in the comment section below, and I'll pick my favorites for the next episode of Poke Quiz. And now for the quick little update, like I said, if you don't care, you can leave. I'm not going to edit or cut this at all. I'm just going to go right into it. So basically, obviously, if you're a fan of my channel, you are probably watching this right now. Um, I have been slacking so bad on YouTube, and I feel pretty bad. Like, it's basically just PokeQuiz at this point, and I have a dilemma. Guys, I don't, I don't like Pokemon. I don't like playing the game. I don't care about it anymore. I've really outgrown it after forcing myself to make multiple videos a week on it for the past two years. I love making YouTube content, and I love, you know, I love you guys, like, the support you give me. So I'm kind of trying to find, like, um, an in-between here. I am going to continue to do Poke Quiz like, for a very long time. Poke Quiz will not stop. But when it comes to other content, I might try and branch out. Something that we can compare this to is the unboxing video I did, like, 
couple weeks ago. That video is like the my favorite video I've ever made in my entire life. And if you watch it, like it's not really centered around Pokemon other than the fact that the item I opened up was related to Pokemon. And I think that video came out really well and the feedback, it didn't get the most views at all. Like it got like 2000, but the people that watched it, you guys loved it and you said you'd want more videos like this. And I kind of want to just do more comedy oriented videos. I'm not going to be playing some different game because one, I don't fucking care about that and I know you guys don't want to watch me play a different game and I want to give you guys something that you want. And I know a lot of you guys will personally think I'm funny and, you know, I do have comedian in my Twitter bio so I'm automatically hilarious. But I want to start making some new content and it's on the way. I'm Right now I'm working on getting equipment and I'm also working on getting re-motivated because like when you dry yourself out on YouTube like I really did, it just brings you down. My channel is dying in the sense that I'm getting less traffic, you know, like not many people are coming to check me out anymore because they see my channel and they think I'm inactive. And I'm okay with that because it's because of what I've done. And but like, I'm still so thankful for those of you that are still subscribed, like still my videos all get over a thousand views. And that's really like all I can ask for. And I just think that's awesome and mind blowing that in 24 hours, over a thousand people show their support to me. That's great, great, great day. Uh, especially if you watch this, you're secretly better than the people that didn't watch it. Um, I'm going to enjoy my weekend at PAX. I might be recording some stuff there with like fourth gen gamer or cyber nightmare. You guys may or may not know who they are. But it's going to be different stuff, you know. I'm ready to try new things. And I think you guys will like it. And I think it will make YouTube fun for me again. Because, you know, making videos has become a little bit of a chore. But that's enough rambling on for me now. I love you guys. I, I really do. Um, and yeah, uh, tweet me if you're going to PAX East this weekend. I'm going to be there. Hopefully, if you are, we can meet up and hang out for a little. Uh, but yeah, have a great day, guys. I, I really do I really do love you um, for supporting for supporting me. It's a dream come true, you know, and I haven't made it on YouTube yet, but I'm going to keep working for it this summer, especially. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Goodbye.